Good afternoon. Today is still Wednesday, February 7th, 2024. And I am back with another episode. And I want to send this one out to any man that's married, married men, just for married men only. Excuse that beeping, I'm at work as usual. Somebody suggested I turn my truck off while I'm recording, so I do that, and now you hear all the beeping noise from the machinery around here, and, and, and if you're wondering, well, why don't you stop making videos at work? Well, how am I gonna do that? I'm at work all the time. I don't do this for a living, make videos. I, I work for a living. Videos are just a side hustle slash passion. So that's why I'm always in the truck making a video, if you haven't figured that out already. So, this one is to the married men that got married, I say, from 35 and older. You got married. You didn't get married in your 20s. You know, 22, 23, 25, and whatever. You didn't get married then. You waited till you were mid 30s and up, 40, 45, 50, or whatever, to get married. And you think, and you thinking that you married your soulmate, the woman meant just for you, and you happy, and, and I, ain't got, I ain't got no problem with people being happy. I want people to be happy. But what I don't want is people to be delusional, being, living a facade, for whatever you call it, an illusion not real, imagination. You're thinking something that ain't true. So what I'm saying is, if you're a man married and you ain't get married till you like 35 or older, you didn't get married in your 20s when you was young and that woman was probably just getting started out, you know, as far as dating or whatever, or if she had been dating, you know, she just coming out of high school, now she's in her 20s or whatever, college or whatever. If you ain't catch her then, in y'all 20s, you 35, 40 years old or older, when you just get married, you need to know this. Don't be confused about it. You need to understand this. It ain't no big deal. It is what it is, but you just need to know just in case you're putting her up on the pedestal and taking a lot of shit off of her because she's your wife and you think she's the greatest thing since sliced bread, which ain't nothing wrong with thinking about thinking that about your wife. I'm talking about you sitting around taking shit off of her. She's not acting right. She's not doing what she's supposed to do towards you as her your wife. And you're wondering why. You may not be getting the sex that you feel you should be getting as her husband. She's not showing you the affection that you feel like she should be showing you as your wife. You married her, you did what you were supposed to do, so you thought, but for just some reason, you can't figure it out, you can't put your finger on it. She's not acting like she's grateful about that. She's not acting like she's lucky to have you. She's not acting like you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. But you acting like that toward her. And you can't figure it out. The sex ain't there, she, give, she giving you that courtesy sex, you know, just giving you something just because she's supposed to. She ain't all into you. She very rarely initiates it. And you just feel like something ain't right about it, man. You know what I mean? She, you think she love you or whatever. Y'all married, y'all together. Y'all go out together to the Charlie Wilson concert and the Cat Williams Comedy Festival and y'all go out to eat. Y'all do the, you know, the, the do things, the movies here and there. Take a cruise here and there. Y'all do those things, going out in New Orleans on Bourbon Street. Shout out to New Orleans. Love y'all. Mardi Gras. 
It's from over here though. I need to say that again. But anyway. Something just ain't right with her though, man. She just ain't treating you like that king. That you know that you are. But y'all married. Y'all ain't got no real problem going on. Y'all ain't arguing a lot and nothing like that. But she just ain't treating you like you that you that guy. But you know she love you. But it just ain't that fire. You know what I mean? That that riding down the street and pulling out and get your head while you're driving. You ain't getting all that treatment. I'm gonna tell you why. It ain't cause she cheat. Or that she got another man on the side. It ain't that. You wasn't her first choice. You was the one that would act right. Let me repeat that. You were not her first choice if you got married at 35, 40 years old. What happened was, the guy she really wanted, the guy she really get wet for, the guy she really want to slob down going down the highway while he driving, that guy, he wouldn't act right. He didn't want to get married. He wouldn't, he wouldn't settle down. He wouldn't give her what she wanted. So she had to let him go. She didn't want to, but she had to. So fast forward later on down the road, she need somebody. She don't want to grow old alone. She feel like she need to get married. Mama them in the ear, friends getting married or whatever. She feel like it's just something she's supposed to do, get married. But the kind of guy she want, the dude she wanted, won't do that. But you would. Because you believe in that type of thing. You're a family-oriented guy, marriage, whatever, traditional. So, you start dating her. You really ain't the one that you know, that do it for, but you willing to cooperate with her. You willing to get on her page. You're not putting her on your page. She putting you on hers and you were willing to do it. So, she settled for you. You are a settled husband. The one she really desired and wanted and longed for, he just would not act right. He was hoish. Probably was broke, didn't want to work. But he's slanging that wood in her. He got her head all messed up. And she craved him like crack. But she just know it don't make sense to be with him long term. He's not a long-term option. Women have guys that they deal with, that they'll sleep with, be crazy about or whatever, but they label him as he ain't he ain't marriage material, but they'll still deal with him. Then they got guys that are cooperative with them. Do what she want him to do. But he ain't that fire. But he's labeled as marriage material, the type of guy you marry. He gonna support her, provide, pay the bills, not run the street, be faithful, and all that. But she just he just ain't the dude that she really like like that. But he's just the type of dude that you're supposed to marry. The other guys that she was with before she got with you, they were just blowing her back out. They was getting for free what you paying for. Think about that. When you wait to 35, 40 years old to get married. You buying a cow that's done been milked a few times for free. Harsh reality, but it's facts, baby. Big Ward ain't gonna, lay, ain't gonna lie to you, ain't playing no game with you. You wasn't her first choice. You wasn't the one she really wanted. You were the one she can get to cooperate. You were the one she can get to play ball. When she was ready, after she done getting it popping, after she done ripping and running and having fun, doing what she wanna do, 
riding the cock carousel, as they say. After she finished doing what she doing, having her fun, living her best life, living her city girl life, when she's done with that, you the dude that she settled down with and married. And you have no clue. I see plenty of women now that's married that when I was out in the street back in the day, doing my thing, hustling, street dude, hood dude, hood nigga, as they call it. That's what I was at one time. And the women that we would call dope hoes, which is women that love the man, the D-boys, y'all know what, you know, we call them dope hoes. They only dated D-boys. If you had a good job, she didn't want you. You had to sell dope for these women. You had to be a street dude. Exciting, shootouts, hustling, crackhead washing your car. You had to be that dude or she don't want you. We passing them around, right? She go from dope boy to dope boy to dope boy. Everybody know them. They was the finest ones in the club, finest ones wherever you go. All you working boys, your regular dudes, your squares, what we call y'all lame back in the day, all y'all wanted these bras, but they didn't want y'all because y'all were working dudes. You might've been making 100,000 a year, but you got a job. She didn't want you back then, but she was younger and she running through the dope boys, the hood dude. She didn't want you back then, but you wanted her. Cause they be fine as hell, half naked, ass hanging. Back when the days of the Duke was in, in style. Look at that girl, them days of the Dukes, all oh, this my day. My younger days, the days of the Dukes and the Tuts the Road and all that. That's where I come from. And you working dudes used to want our women, the dope boy woman. But she ain't want y'all. Not then. She wanted us. But we wasn't going for the marriage shit and taking them single and whatever. Taking them serious, I mean. They were just something for us to play with. But y'all wanted them for y'all little lady and girlfriend and to marry him. And, oh, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Why is she with those guys? They're not treating her right. I would treat you better. And and I know that because the same women would come tell me, or uh, tell one of us, like, look at those square over there. He tried to holler at me talking about what I'm doing with you. He'll treat me right. He'll take care of me. You don't need no man like that. You need a man going to treat you right. They would tell her what you lame was telling her. You know what I mean? That's how bad and how much respect they have for y'all, which is none. Y'all would step to them correctly and they would come to us and laugh at y'all. Calling y'all lames and telling us about what you said about us. Why you with him? He ain't gonna cheat you right. He's selling that dope. You gonna go to jail mess with him, blah, blah, blah. You need your good working man, blah, you know. She wasn't hearing that back then. Fast forward. The dope boys gone to prison, strung out on drugs, dead, or like me, I done got out the, I ain't in the game no more. I'm a, I'm a working dude now. But I know him, so I ain't for the marry now one of them. I ain't for the get with him, I know him. So what they do is, now that they, they older, they ready to settle down, they don't want the dope boy no more. They, they done had their fun with the dope boy, now they, ready, they looking for a good man. And guess who they go and look for? You. You fall for it. They lay the charm on you. You marry them, but you just ain't getting that treatment like the dope boy got. You ain't getting what I got from them. You getting that old, uh, it's okay. So, to sum it all up, you ain't what she wanted. I'm sorry to let y'all know, but at the same time, that's what I'm here for, to let y'all know what's really going on in this world right now. Why you going through what you're going through? Why she ain't treating you like you deserve to be treated by the way you, how you're taking good care of you doing right because she's an old dope hole. The type of chick that didn't want you back then. She done played out with us. We don't want her. So she go. She got to go to what would take her. She settled for you. You married her, and now y'all living happily ever after. Congratulations. Get it? Got it?
good. Happy anniversary. Bye.